Hey guys, what's up? Chef Mark here with Compadre Sio Country Cocina, and we are getting ready for another episode. Episode two of You've Been Briefed. Today, we're gonna show you a very quick dummy proof recipe on how to create our smoked beef fajita chili. And we will break it down for you. Right there, see that? It's a lot of goodness going on right there. We got a little army guy saying, come on, come on, come try some. There you go, all right? Good evening, guys. This is Chef Mark again with Compadre Seal Country Cocina. Uh, we are on our second episode of uh, You've Been Briefed, our new YouTube channel. So a lot of people have been asking how we make our smoked beef fajita chili. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a really quick dummy proof recipe on how I create it. Obviously, I make it in a much larger scale, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the dummy proof, how we say it in the army, version of the compadres smoked beef fajita chili, okay? So I'm gonna give you a brief rundown on every ingredient that we're using, okay? So if you guys wanna follow me, first off, okay, we got, like we start off every every segment, I show you the mise en place, okay? Mise en place, again, it's everything in its place, all right? So here we got our utensils that we're gonna need, a uh, just a mixing serving spoon, a plastic spatula, and a little whisk, okay? Over here, we got my trusty chef's knife, all right? Six inch Miyabi. Got my honing steel right there. All right, over here, we have a uh, somewhat of a medium uh, stainless steel pot, okay, with a copper base. Honestly, whatever pot you guys have, if you guys have some uh, cheaper ones, you can do it with that, but obviously, for this one, I am using a copper bottom only because I am using a induction burner, okay? This right here is magic, okay? So this kind of just feeds off of the magnet at the bottom. Once we turn it on, I have it set up to, let's see. Nope, nope, let's, okay, now we're gonna take it up. I'm gonna take it up to 390. So it's gonna start heating up here in a second, okay? After that, we got a small mixing pot. This is what I'm gonna mix a couple ingredients with. I have about nine ounces of cold water. I have about uh, two quarts of room temperature water, okay? That's gonna be for the mixing of the other ingredients that are gonna be in there, okay? So ingredients we got here, we have dark chili powder. We got about two ounces. We have about maybe an ounce and a half of the uh, onion powder. We have maybe about an ounce of the uh, granulated black pepper. Over here, we got a little bit over an ounce of the granulated garlic powder. Over here, we got a, just shy of two ounces of our uh, granulated cumin powder, okay? Over here, we have about maybe a cup, I wanna say about a cup of uh, cornstarch, okay? Over here, we have three ounces of the chicken base powder by Knorr. You can find that anywhere in HEB. Over here, we have about three ounces of canola oil, okay? Over here, we have a pound of our smoked beef fajitas, okay? So if you wanna try this at home, by all means, come to Compadres, order you some smoked beef fajitas. They're already gonna be sliced, so it's gonna be a lot easier for you to work with, all right? You're gonna chop them up, and I will, literally, I will show you exactly what we're gonna do. But if you wanna recreate the exact same flavor, obviously, come by Compadres, buy you a pound of our smoked beef fajita, and you'll be, you'll be good to go. So again, I will give you everything in full detail as soon as we are done, all right? And over here, we have a sweet yellow onion. All we're gonna do for this recipe, for this amount, we're gonna use one, all right? So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and put the canola oil right into the pot. It's already hot, okay? After that, I'm gonna come with my onion. Peel it off, cut it at the end. All right, I'm gonna peel the skin off, and then I'm gonna go for a small dice. When I go for a small dice, 
It's because I want it to cook faster, saute a lot faster, and it'll dissolve in the chili eventually, all right? So again, here we go with the small dice. Right there, cut across. Bring that in. Now, the other one. There you go. All that's done. Let me put that in this little plastic container and we are gonna toss that in. All right. You hear that? Man, starting to smell good. All right. That's going to start caramelizing really quick. All right. Now we're going to get our beef fajita. Start slicing it, chopping it up. And remember, this fajita is already smoked. That means it's just going to keep breaking apart. Okay. Start tossing that in. Our fajita, once it cooks a little bit more, starts breaking down, people start thinking we're serving them brisket. And those flavors are starting to slowly come together. Now, I'm gonna come back in here, start mixing up everything, all right? Your onions already starting to break down, starting to caramelize. Your beef fajita already, you can start smelling all that smoke that the fajita is letting out, all right? This stuff heats up really fast, okay? But remember, the longer you let it saute in here, the long, the, the easier it's gonna be. It's gonna break down really quick. All right, so now that we got that slightly being sauteed, all right, now we're gonna start adding our ingredients. So I'm gonna go probably, I'm gonna say about half this portion, all right? So we're gonna go with about two ounces of the chicken base nor, all right? So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in there. There you go. After that, the star of the show is your dark chili powder. After that, we got your onion powder. There you go. After that, we got your pepper. That's about what we need, all right? Then we got your granulated garlic. You can't leave out this one, cumin. That's the staple for anything Tex-Mex and Mexican. All right, so here we go. We got all those ingredients now. Just start mixing it around, all right? Make sure you mix it nice because sometimes you may have these little dry pockets of your ingredients. And it's not really good when you bite into it because it feels like you're gonna be biting into like cinnamon or not cinnamon obviously but you know dry 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 uh dry seasoning it's not a good thing so anyways remember at the bottom start scraping if you want my camera guy actually had a very good uh idea he said you guys put beer in it but you know what why not when you have it just like this when it starts actually the bottom starts sticking grab yourself some shiner put about half a bottle in it Right, it's gonna help release that, uh, all that flavor that's stuck at the bottom, all right? And it'll, I mean, honestly, this is, like I said, this is just a guide of how we create our smoked beef fajita chili. You can always modify it, right? You can always modify it, but learn these basic steps. 
then play with it and then you create your own your own uh, your own design your own recipe so now that we have this in place now we're gonna go with let's do about first we're gonna start off with about 32 ounces of water okay remember you already have your chicken base in there basically your stock all right now let's eh, let's go for maybe half of the 32 ounce portion Ah, screw it. Let's go all the way. There you go. All right. So now this is going to come to a boil really, really quick. As soon as this comes to a boil, okay? As soon as this comes to a boil, then we're going to add our last ingredient, which is our cornstarch mixture. All right. Obviously, this right now, this recipe is gluten free for those of you that want to know. All right. Gluten-free, obviously just don't add your beer in it. But other than that, let me just get a piece of foil because it's starting to bubble. So what I'm going to do is when I cover it with a piece of foil, it's going to bring the heat a lot faster and it's going to start boiling a lot faster. As you can see, these bubbles already, that's that it's starting to boil, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and speed up the process right now. All right, so as you can see again, it's coming to a boil, but I'm going to speed it up, all right? Just real real quick while that's happening i'm gonna get my cornstarch right in this little it's a lot easier when you're pouring it in all right so i'm gonna do about uh maybe uh, i want to say a little more than half of that portion all right so cold water okay it what happens is when you when you bring this your, your actual soup to a boil and you add your cold corn starch in it, it's gonna thicken up really quick, all right? So, there you go, right there. Anyways, all right, so here we go. Start mixing up your corn starch, all right? This is gonna make your chili get that thickness that you want, all right? If my camera guys could nod, if I'm asking them if it smells good in here, they probably would, all right? But just, just, uh, just make believe they are. Okay, they are, but they're in the background, so. So I'm gonna get some toppings that we're gonna put on our chili, all right? Let's go with pico de gallo and cheddar cheese, all right, right there. Let's do sour cream while we're at it, all right? So, man, every time I say something a certain way, it reminds me of a song. Like right now I said, oh, is this it? I started thinking about White Snake. Is this love that I'm feeling? Man, we need some of that music on, on this show. You think we can get White Snake or Willie? Dude, oh, sorry. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Imagine me and Willie smoking on my smoker. Not smoking the, you know, whatever, but smoking meats. Maybe we can make a, a, a recipe, call it the uh, red-headed willy chili. I don't know, something like that. All right, so let's see. All right, it's slowly coming to a boil real quick. Again, this is your cornstarch right there. That's gonna be your last ingredient, all right? I'm gonna start picking up here just a tad, making some room. We got our awesome Mexican plate right there. We actually buy these in Poteet, so if you're ever out there, I can give you the contact information for the lady that actually hooks us up with this, okay? And our trusty Mexican bowls right there just makes for a better visual, all right? So that's pl that plate is there. Let's open up our cheddar cheese, okay? Let's open up our pico de gallo right there. And the pico de gallo, that's going to be on our next segment, okay? That's going to be like half the time of this. All right, it's gonna go by like in four or five minutes. All right, so let me get a ladle. I'm gonna leave that there, okay? And you can serve your chili with crackers. You can serve it with, man, make you some quesadillas, okay? All you gotta do is just get you a little saute pan, put a little bit of uh, oil in it, a little bit of canola oil in it, throw some uh, corn tortillas, get them nice and crispy on both sides, put some cheese on it, slap it together, Toast it on each side, or why don't you do a Texas toast grilled cheese? So anyways, 
Here we go. All right, it's starting to come to a boil. Check this out. All right. Now this is starting to look very nice. All right, so here we go. Cornstarch. You can go slow, okay? Start whisking. Start dropping your cornstarch in there. And again, it almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Look at that. That chili is ready. The consistency in it, I don't know what else you can ask for, but check this out. Let me get this out of the way and see that it's already boiling. There, turn it off. We don't need it to boil anymore. It's nice and hot and it's ready to eat. So I'm gonna show you real quick how we're gonna plate it up. All right, take your bowl, take your, your, your ladle, dig in there, look at that, look at that. And we have a lot of texture in it, okay? It breaks down, just not completely. This is what we want. This is how we serve it at Compadres, okay? Right there, look at that. Start pouring it in. More, right there. Look at that. Now, set this here. Now we get some of the cheddar cheese. Sprinkle it all around. It'll melt here shortly. Our sour cream. Let's give it a nice little swirl right there. All right, pico de gallo. And real quick, let's add some cilantro, okay? Y'all remember the little catchphrase I showed you guys on my YouTube, I mean on the uh, Compadres uh, Facebook page, remember? The, the, you know how Emerald used to go, bam, well, I got one that's called sas. There you go. Real quick, easy peasy recipe for our compadres smoked beef fajita chili, okay? I will give you guys the recipe later on, but if you do everything step by step by step, like I explained to you in this video, you can't go wrong, okay? Remember, in order to get the flavor that you want from this smoked uh, beef fajita chili, come over to Compadres, order a, a pound of beef fajita or two pounds, whatever. Anyways, thank you for, for, for giving me your time and we will check you guys out later. Boom. Oh.